behind me, it looks quite gorgeous now, but it's been pretty much raining all day, so we haven't got out on the bikes. So we had a little wander around the pits at the Nürburgring, the uh, GT race cars are going around at the moment, you can probably hear them in the background. No biking today, we'll uh, hopefully get out on the bikes tomorrow. There's tomorrow. We're going to have to ride around uh, Cockham today, or to Cockham. Um, yesterday, a couple of those bolts um, actually uh, weren't there, so I managed to oil bolt some spares with me. Uh, the saga of the uh, Ducati that uh, is constantly on a die continues. All ye also yesterday when I was taking these photos, uh, or just before, we had a bit of a mishap. Uh, we went down to the uh, they were sign to take some photos, myself and Mike. And uh, when I went to put the sign stand down, it, uh, well, I nearly dropped the bike. It, um, one of the bolts had actually come out of the sign stand. But luckily, it had come out just where I'd stopped. So um, I managed to uh, sort of not drop the bike. And uh, Mike came back and got some tools. but it's okay to uh, go around today. But uh, more on that later. Because uh, it didn't quite go to plan. I've uh, swapped the mirrors over. So the left arm that was uh, correct. Um, we swapped over quite quickly. Oh yeah, a bit of fat trying to make it work properly. But, uh, that should, should be alright, right? Yeah, that'd be fine. Another one. So, as always, it's going to be a bit of a uh, follow the leader. For God's sake. Um, I've adjusted the um, um, clutch lever, and um, from yes, from the way down, it was all the way out. I adjusted it uh, a bit further in. So uh, we'll get used to that. So, I don't know if there's a high street in, in Nürburg or whether well, there is a high street, but uh, this will probably be it. So it turns out the um, the audio from the mile was pretty uh, crap um, for some reason. For some reason, when I put the helmet on, it'll be absolutely fine. Other times, it'll be crackly and, and totally rubbish. So, it's something I need to sort out and be working very well. But, um, Today we're, we just kept it local. Uh, we are heading to Cockham and um, in and out of Adenau. Uh, now Adenau is the halfway point on the ring, if you like. You can get to a half lap ticket from there, join there, um, straight off the main road onto the ring, and then go back round to the start, which is um, which is what we do later. We'll, we'll keep watching. We'll see the first. Well, you'll see how that went, put it that way. But for now, or well, before then, we um, we just spent time riding around, basically. You know, the roads around Nürburg and that sort of area. Absolutely fantastic. Um, as you can see, pretty much, uh, well, there's very few places where the tarmac's not in uh, absolute tip-top shape. Uh, and there's a lot of bends like this, uh, just uh, quite tight, relatively slow, but uh, nice and smooth and you can sort of see through them and see what's coming. Uh, there's some really, really tight ones as well, <laughs> as you'll see surely. And, uh, it's a bit of a challenge getting around them. 
in this left hander here, you can see how tight this is. It's no, by no means the uh, the tightest you'll come across when you're out here. Uh, the one coming up actually is uh, stupidly tight. Bit of a challenge to get around uh, when you're not used to getting around corners <laughs> as tight as that. Which uh, I wasn't really until I got here. Now what I do want to uh, mention again, the, uh, the website is live for any um, any merchandise you might want. Uh, we've got t-shirts, got caps, uh, stickers, all sorts of t-shirts, and anything um, anything you do buy, all the proceeds go 100% towards the channel. So I've got to get a bit carried away with the design shirts, but as they're sort of made to order, or the, the ones with stripes on, you'll see what I mean if you go on the website, uh, which is... Uh, on the screen now. If you work on there, you can see what we've got to offer. I'll, uh, I'll just stick a couple of images up there in the corner you to have a look at. But yeah, it'd be fantastic if you could, uh, if anyone wants to support the channel that way, uh, it'd be great. You know, not only get a decent T-shirt out of the uh, out of the deal, but you're helping the channel uh, as as we uh, as we grow. It'd be great to uh, have you along for a few more videos so uh, please subscribe uh, comment on the video and uh, drop a like as well down below it really does uh, help us out so it's quite difficult for a new channel to sort of get established but that's why i'm trying to get a few videos in and uh, get the subscribe count out uh, count up and uh, get some views going um, so that the algorithm on youtube starts suggesting our videos otherwise they just don't turn up in people's feeds. It's all based on an algorithm that uh, sort of suggests what people might want to watch. The more people that watch these videos, then the uh, more pop up. So uh, any, any shares or anything like that is massively appreciated. And thanks very much for you enjoying this video so far. Uh, and there'll be more to come. For now, I'm going to shut up uh, for a couple of minutes and uh, let you enjoy these robes. There's some footage from Mike's cameras. He's got an Inov K2 front and rear system which uh, records automatically as soon as the bike's turned on. And also, when you move it, it's a great bit of good quality and uh, it's a bit one for myself. Uh,
just uh, roll into uh, Adnell Cafe, it's on the right hand side of the car park and entrance to the ring. Um, not a lie, I was uh, a bit unsure first, so whether I wanted to uh, go on or not. So, no insurance and all the rest of it, I could arranged it, but uh, it was going to be quite expensive. But um, we'll see how we get on. Camera. Camera was on. You have to remove the camera from your helmet. Better your breakfast and eat hearty. For tonight, we dine in hell! 